It doesn't matter what it is, but these things never take a, take a break. You're always on. You're always looking around you, so it's really important. And so here's a picture of all the different companies here in Bozeman. They all do really crazy things. Resonon does hyperspectral imagers to try to sort bad plastics from good plastics. Um, Lattice materials grows domes for IR imagery. They go on Black Hawk hel uh, uh, helicopters and stuff like that. Um, ADVR makes these little uh, laser crystal things that go on NASA satellites. Uh, ESI makes these ablation systems that can ablate materials and analyze what, what something's made out of to detect things like cancer and stuff like that. Um, Phoenix FO does really cool stuff. So all these companies are right here in Bozeman. And so, I want you guys to walk away understanding what the electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic spectrum means, all the different applications of this stuff, and not only that, kind of like the power of a laser, those are some of the key takeaways, but also that if you want to do this for a career like Ryan and I do, you don't have to leave home. We have a university, at the university you can get an undergraduate degree, a bachelor's, you can get a master's, you can get a PhD, and now the program that I run, you can also get a two-year degree if you don't want to tackle the four-year degree right away, I'm training technicians right now that are actually people that go in and build all these systems, that are building the LiDAR sensors that Brian and I designed. They're the ones that are manufacturing. In two years, you can be making forty or fifty thousand dollars a year building LiDAR sensors that are going to save people's lives. So if you want to get into a career in industry that's going to be high impact, you're going to feel rewarded by your career, you can stay close to home, you can make a lot of really good money. This is where you want to be, and you're also on the cutting edge of, of what is going to dominate our industry for the next 100 to 200 years. Right? So, something to think about when you're working with Pat in your classroom on all these things, even though you might be doing really simple experiments, those simple experiments are what enable all the stuff we just talked about today. So, try to make that connection when you go back to lab and you work with Pat on all these kids that you're doing. Try to make the connection to it's not that far of a jump. That's where Ryan and I started our careers, is doing these really basic experiments thought of an idea, right? I thought of an idea to make a LiDAR sensor 10 or 15 years ago. It started with a basic understanding of optics and you know, optics and photonics and going the path. So, so try to just make that connection and, and realize that just with those really basic experiments, you can learn a lot and you can start to do things that change the world. So, uh, hopefully those are the key takeaways that you can walk out of here with today. Any questions you guys have? I will throw this out for you guys. Like, so there's a phrase called upward mobility, right? A term called upward mobility. And right now, the people that roll enroll in the two-year program at Gallatin College that uh, Trent runs, those people walk out of there guaranteed employment. That's how much demand there is, right? And then the other factor is we were talking to Kevin yesterday, one of the other fellows that is associated with doing this presentation. I asked him, I said, what are the possibilities if you get, can you move up, right? Because let's, let's get real. You don't want to be the person that mops the floor all the time, right? Sooner or later, maybe you want to move up in the, in the career, right? And I'm sure Trent can say the same thing. Like, there's tons of upward mobility. In other words, if you start as a laser tech with a two-year degree, there's so much demand in this valley for people that are actually skilled in this, in this arena, right, and so know what's going on. Kind of but there's tons of opportunities for you to move up. And as you move up, do you make more money? Right? You, 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 there's a lot of opportunity here in this valley. Plus, as you move up, you come up with your own ideas, you start your own company, you develop your own product, right? I started as a laser tech in 2004, just building some simple subsystems and doing that. Um, fast forward 15 years, I'm the co-founder of a company and sort of some of my ideas that I started 10, 12 years ago are hopefully going to impact the world. And I'm just the same as you guys. I just try hard, good work ethic, positive, feel like you can change the world if you want to. And you guys have all the same opportunity that, that the guy do that. So make sure you realize that when you walk out of here today. Okay, you better switch it. Alright. Thanks guys. Yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay.